I've already emailed this chat to my supervisor. Framework of my dissertation. Don't ask me what that means because I couldn't tell you. I'm just stressed. So does my university hate me? Absolutely. I'm a dumb bitch. I feel like I'm a whole different person. I wish I just had like some supervision on this. We've been dancing for so long under the stars. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm currently having a dissertation crisis. I don't know why I thought this would be a good video. Recently, I've just been like watching loads of dissertation videos and I thought, shall I just document my own? This is potentially a waste of time, but I'm also thinking like, if I just set up a camera and film myself, I'm gonna have to do some work because I can't just sit and stare in space, can I? So for context, it's Thursday the 8th of April, 2021. My dissertation is due on the 26th of April. It's a 10,000 word essay. I'm currently on 4,000 words. It's taken me, when did I start writing it properly in like January? So it's taken me four months to write 4,000 words and I now have 18 days to write the remaining 6,000. Time management has left the chat. Also, can I just clarify, it is the first draft of my dissertation. The actual dissertation is on the 17th of May, so we do have a bit of leeway, but I'm telling myself it's due on the 26th because otherwise I'm not gonna, you know, trick yourself. So not only do I have that due on the 26th, I have a presentation on the 23rd of April. I have an exam on the 28th of April. I have a portfolio due on the 30th of April. I have another portfolio due on the 4th of May. I have exam week. So I have three exams on the 10th, the 11th, and the 12th of May, and then my actual dissertation is due on the 17th of May. So does my university hate me? Absolutely. It's like midday right now. I have been working all morning. I've been revising for my exam because that has to be done. And I'm about to start the dissertation work for the day. I have all my articles that I'm gonna be analyzing. That's a lot. So yeah, for context, I've done my lit review, which, it was like a big bit done my methodology chapter and i'm now on to like data analysis actually like doing the work so i have all my articles here um my title of my dissertation is media representation of hashtag activism and specifically kind of looking at analysis of the black lives matter case i have 12 news articles here i do a journalism degree i'm sorry i this video is a mess i have 12 articles three articles per news outlet there's four news outlets three articles of i don't know is it clear like how do i if i can't even say it out loud how do i explain this in dissertation there's four news outlets and there's three black lives matter cases that i'm going to be analyzing one article per outlet so like for example the guardian and then one article per person does that make sense I'm gonna get working. It is April, which in my eyes is summer, but I'm freezing in my bedroom. I have a ski thermal on. Can you see that? It's really ugly. And then a massive jumper and I'm literally, like I feel like I'm so pale because I'm literally sat shivering in my room and it's really like distracting. I'm gonna go make myself a coffee and put my phone on a time-lapse so it literally forces me to work because that is the stage we've got to at this point. Like I need someone to watch me. That's, I work so much better when people are watching me like in the library and stuff, but literally at home so like what can i do who's watching me in my room like i kind of want my mom to just like come sit here and tell shout on me when i don't work but she's at work so that's, that's quite selfish of her hi hello it's literally been like half an hour and this sounds like the most stupid reason for stopping and it really does sound like an excuse and i promise it's not but i really need to highlight like i I'm very visual learner. I need to like lay all the articles out on the floor and like sit on the floor and highlight all like the themes I'm trying to detect. Um, and I need highlighters and I don't have any highlighters, but seeing as this is a dissertation vlog, I'll get back to you tomorrow when I have my highlighters. Hello, it is a Saturday morning. Welcome back. I've now got some highlighters. Today is gonna be a big dissertation day. It's gonna be a dissertation focused weekend. I have my to-do list here. I feel a bit overwhelmed with all the work I have to do, but it's okay, it's okay, we're gonna make a start. I don't normally work at the weekends because I'm just rubbish and I get distracted and I'm too easy on myself, but we don't have time to be having breaks anymore. It's grand time. I have all my articles here. 
there are many there are 12 and that will like more than one page i've got my highlighters pink is gonna be partiality and blue is gonna be bias hi just popping in here to say that i am aware they are the same thing it does take past me about a minute to work that out when i say a minute i do mean an hour i did write a whole methodology chapter on it give her a minute she does figure it out i swear I'm just gonna get out my notes quick. I feel like I'm gonna be like destroying these articles. I don't wanna have to print them all out again, basically. I don't wanna get it wrong. The codes and framework of my dissertation, don't ask me what that means because I couldn't tell you. Bias and partiality, and I'm looking for like if one article is super biased versus if one is really like partial. Partial, what does partial even mean? I know like impartial is like journalists have to remain impartial they can't form a viewpoint so partial is they have formed a viewpoint so what is that the same as bias i need to google this God, mental breakdown incoming i can't believe i've only just worked out the partiality and bias are the same thing and i've already emailed this chat to my supervisor <laughs> i'm really embarrassed okay so i'm just gonna change it to impartial and bias god i'm glad i'm glad we discovered that now eh because what would I even be looking for? Like, oh yeah, that's pretty partial. That's pretty biased. <laughs> I'm a dumb bitch. I'm a dumb fucking bitch. I don't even know what is bias. So bias is that going to one side and impartial is the fair to all sides. I hate this. Someone get me out. Like I literally, I've been doing this for what? 28 seconds. It's like my worst nightmare. Like I'm just so confused. confused because i found like i guess like bias things but it's also just like a quote so it's just like reporting on what's happened like that and that's fair you're allowed to report what's happened like they're saying like what it says on the protest like banners i really thought i could just highlight it and then just write three thousand words of what i've highlighted oh, why is this so difficult am i just being stupid like am i literally being the dumbest bitch literally mind boggled like i have no idea what i'm doing someone walked in right now and was like what are you up to like fuck no, I'm literally I'm trying to fake it till I make it, it's really become quite hard. And I also don't want to start highlighting in case I'm wrong. I'm basically too scared to start. Okay. Then you're gonna highlight. In this article it says some damaged windows, a squad car and sprayed graffiti. Is that bias? No. Fuck. I got like damaged windows might imply like protesters did it. But it's all just facts, that's the problem. Like, they're literally reforcing fat. I need someone to give a fucking opinion right away. I wish I just had, like, some supervision on this. Like, I couldn't tell you what the next chapter of I'm meant to be writing about because I've had no supervision on it. The last time I met with my supervisor was February. It's now mid-April. Like, she hasn't even read the last chapter because it's fucking, like, four-week Easter. I don't think... Like, I know everyone has to have a break, but, like, I'm not getting a break, so... No offence, like, she's getting paid for it. I'm not getting paid for this. I just think a four week Easter and then like the deadline like the next week, like she's not gonna read my third previous chapter, she's not gonna read this chapter, she's not gonna read the two chapters after that. Just a bit unfair in my opinion. I just don't know what I'm doing, like there's no point in pretending. Fuck. I'm on my period by the way, so it really doesn't pay me much to cry. But I'm just stressed and I don't know what I'm doing. Like who do I even fucking ask? By the time I get off Easter break, this is due my whole fucking dissertation. I'm on 4,000 words out of 10,000. Okay, I don't want to cry on camera, this is so stupid. I'm gonna go figure out some shit. Hello, sorry I'm, I'm back. It's been about 20 minutes. I have recovered. I still obviously look like I've been crying because I have. I basically changed my whole thing. So that's good because I'm I'm gonna have to rewrite my whole methodology chapter. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Um, basically, instead of looking bias versus impartiality, I'm basically, the theme is bias, but then under that like sub theme, I'm gonna look at how violence versus like more peaceful protesting is reported because like stereotypically, obviously if there's a violent protest, it makes it news, but a peaceful protest doesn't, so. Obviously, I'm not, that's not what I'm going to write, but that's what I'm kind of looking for and how, like, different themes occur. 
Does that make sense? I think it finally makes sense for me. The thing is, when you have a mental breakdown, like that takes 20 minutes at least out of your schedule. And it's like, well, that was a fucking waste of time. I'm just gonna see how it goes. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. Hello, I just wanted to check in because I think the last thing I filmed was me crying. I'm doing okay now. It is now Tuesday, so quite a few days has passed. I think that was on Friday when I had my meltdown or Thursday, I don't really know. But I basically didn't do any dissertation work over the weekend. I was just revising for my exam. And then yesterday I didn't do any work at all because I had a job interview and it was like my first like graduate job interview. So I was really stressed. So I just gave myself a day off to chill and to practice all my interview questions and everything. But today is Tuesday. It's exactly midday. It's just turned 12 o'clock. I've literally been sat at my desk since 7 a.m. And I have written 2,100 words today. So I've gone past the halfway mark. We are on like 6,500 words or something. So I'm feeling really good about my, like, like I literally feel like I'm a whole different person in terms of my dissertation. Because basically over the weekend, I didn't write any dissertation stuff. Like I didn't increase the word count at all, but I was highlighting all the articles, analyzing all the articles. So now I've kind of like done all that. Now it's literally just getting all the analysis from the articles, like into the word document. So, like I've kind of already done all the work, I just need to like make it sound all academic and everything. So I'm feeling really good about that. I've been doing that all morning, made good progress. I'm about to like stop just for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna do a workout, have some lunch. I'm then gonna do some exam revision and then get back to it. And hopefully, I, I'm really hoping that by tomorrow I can actually finish this chapter because this chapter is 3,500 words. And like I said, I've already done 2,000 of them. And I think I'd already got like 300 or something like before today. So I'm like way over halfway of that chapter. So it's literally like a thousand more words. Is that? I don't know. I'm not really good at math, so like don't don't do the maths and don't call, come for me but yeah I haven't watched any of the clips of this video back so I don't really know like if they make sense if they go together if there's any sense of continuity at all but yeah I didn't want to leave it with just me crying because I thought people would be like um like, what the fuck bitch like what happened but I'm doing much better I'm gonna keep filming lots of uni vlogs because I only have like a month left of uni and I you know want to document this time it's very it is, it is a fun time like not fun, no, fun is not the word I was looking for. Like, like this only happens once in your life when you graduate from uni and I do want to document it and I want to you know, show everyone the process. And I feel a lot better about it because I actually now feel like I'm going to finish in time because I have 13 days to finish it. And I actually feel like that's feasible because on like Saturday I was like, this is absolutely not feasible. I'm not doing this. Like I'm going to have to apply for an extension. Like I was really panicking. So yeah, I'm feeling good. Thank you so much for watching this video. Sorry, it was all over the place. Like I said, I haven't actually watched it, so I don't even know like if I say anything useful. But um, I think once I've like actually handed in my dissertation, I might do like a whole video about like what I wish I knew before writing my dissertation and like how to write a dissertation. Um, not that I'm qualified at all, but obviously I have picked up some tips and tricks along the way, and I know there's a lot of things I would have done differently. Now I have practically done it well I'm, I'm more than halfway so I feel like I'm now like know what I'm doing essentially but yeah I wouldn't like do that video until I've actually handed in my dissertation because I still need to write it but yeah thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe and thank you so much for 200 subscribers